the first loin that we put on was the one that was in the marinade overnight. We prepared this marinade and put the meat um, under it last night and it contains two pounds of brown sugar, light brown sugar, uh, 24 ounces of Italian dressing, about a fourth a cup of Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper to taste, and then about two ounces of pineapple juice. The premise behind this loin is to show the students that you can over season a cut. Uh, this usually happens with smaller cuts like uh, chops or steaks. And so we're trying to use a loin here and we put a prime rib rub and filleted it open so that the outside is covered and then internally it's covered as well in mainly salt and pepper. And we're just trying to show the students that you can over season something too much. With this loin, we only used uh, salt and pepper and it's just trying to show the students that you still can use the same seasoning as we used on the over seasoned loin, uh, but it will taste good as long as you don't use too much on it. But these loins, the only uh, ingredient we used in the seasoning was Lowry's just because um, this area, or maybe the people that we're mainly serving, the professors and everybody, really do love the Lowry seasoning on the pork loins. Uh, both the just salt and pepper that's not over seasoned and the Lowry's, they can both go with a peach habanero uh, sauce that we've already prepared and uh, we used last year. And it just, it's a good complement to the pork loin that's not overly seasoned with anything. We are now applying our mop sauce, which is almost like a barbecue sauce, and it's a tomato-based sauce that we use. Um, tomato sauce, Worcestershire sauce, honey, molasses, onion powder, garlic powder, white and black pepper, along with some chili powder and a little bit of li uh, liquid smoke. The premise behind the water smoker is to use the the water as a means of transferring the heat from the coals themselves to the meat. And so we have the coals that lay on bottom and try and just maintain that temperature. And then we have a bowl of water here in between the coals and where we would place the meat. So what would happen is the coals will heat the water and that steam will actually transfer the heat into the meat itself in order to cook it. Makes it juicier and more tender. So once we already have the meat on and it's cooking, we can actually use this door to apply more coals. You can see that here's the container holding the water and then the coals would be underneath that. And so it's very easy for us to add additional coals as we need to maintain the temperature inside the water smoker. In today's class evaluation of pork loins with different marinades, sauces, and rubs, um, the class compared two pork loins with uh, Lowry seasoning, one with uh, mop sauce and one without. Uh, overall, the class liked them both, uh, had a good base uh, seasoning and flavor. However, the one with the mop sauce was a little bit more juicier and just slightly better tasting. And then we had two, um, one that was overpowered with a prime rib rub. Um, we used too much seasoning to try to convey the fact that you can use too many, too much seasoning. Um, and then we just used a, a salt and pepper, um, trying to just show you that you can use the basic um, seasonings and still get the desirable flavor um, and we didn't overdo that one and we found that they liked that one over the over flavored one or the over seasoned one because um, it wasn't as strong and then last we had the marinated one that sat overnight um, and they felt like that was the most juiciest um, and the most tender I um, mean that's just because some of the components of that marinade um, would have tenderized the meat to an extent um, and added some flavor and juiciness as well so overall we feel like um, they got to see uh, multiple aspects of the, the ribs, um, or the rubs, the seasonings, and the marinades, um, and it was a good week.